My name is Amy Ward and I'm uh, a mum of two primary school aged children and uh, that takes up a lot of my time, most of my time when I'm not volunteering. I've been volunteering at the Royal Barks for coming up to three years now, ever since my uh, youngest started school. I wanted to volunteer at the Royal Berkshire Hospital because I felt quite grateful to it. My two children were born here, I've had my appendix out here, and we all come out the other side fit and well, so um, a lot to be grateful for and it was time for me to give something back. So I found out about volunteering at the Royal Barks by accident really. I was here for regular appointment for myself and as I was leaving the hospital, I walked past a stand um, advertising National Volunteer Week. I actually walked past it once and then gave myself a talking to and walked back because it, it was a time where I was looking for something for myself with my children, both being at school. My volunteer role at the Royal Barks, I'm a patient leader, which basically means I can get involved in any project where members of staff want a patient voice, whether it be a hands-on role or a member of a committee where they're looking for new ways of doing things and they want the patient's voice represented. But equally, we've been uh, given a bit of a free rein to raise our hands where we think there might be a project that is worth starting. So I've been involved in various different things, from patient acting, um, but being the, the, the body that the new training nurses are practising on. I've been involved in the rollout of Digital Hospital. As a default, on a weekly basis, I was helping out in the ED every week, both serving refreshments and taking uh, feedback from patients and feeding that back to the senior ED team. I come in once a week and an evening to basically manage the donations that are here for the staff to make use of when they have a bit of downtime between shifts on their breaks. We get donations from local restaurants, from local companies, or just making a cup of tea cup of coffee for the staff who are having a well-earned break. My name's Adrian Barker uh, and I'm a patient leader here at the Royal Berkshire Hospital. I used to work in local government until about eight or nine years ago. Since then I've been doing various sorts of volunteering to do with health and well-being as a patient and public representative. Initially when I applied to be a patient leader it was just to get involved in health and well-being and try and do something useful and I was also getting involved with uh, Health Watch which is the consumer champion for patients and the public and on the patient participation group which is represents patients for, for GPs and I'm now the chair of the patient panel which is the grouping of PPGs. When the coronavirus crisis struck I think like a lot of people I wanted to help if I could and this was uh, an opportunity that came up to help out in the wellbeing centre so it seemed a worthwhile thing to do. So I help out in the wellbeing centre on a Saturday afternoon so I come in about 12 through till 5 and then on a Sunday come in I, I say 9 but I usually manage to get here for, for half 8 and get set up and through till 4. What it involves is mainly distributing snacks which have been generously donated by people sometimes hot food like pizzas, and the staff come and help themselves. And we do our best to uh, try and ration it fairly so that uh, places that don't normally get it, you know, we may ring around, invite them to come down and pick up what there is. I think on a whole where the staff can get to the wellbeing centre, they are finding it a really positive experience. They're very pleased to see somebody who can make them a cup of tea and can navigate their way through all the things that, that might be on offer for them. A variety in, in who, who comes down here. I mean, there's some, some people who are obviously working at the end of a very long shift in very difficult circumstances and are just totally tired. Other people coming on a kind of a more regular break and just appreciate the chance for somewhere to sit and have a bit of light refreshment. I did hesitate about volunteering during this particular time, but I wouldn't be here if I felt I was putting myself at unnecessary risk. People sometimes, I think, wonder why would you volunteer in a hospital when there's a, a risk of, of catching a very dangerous virus. Um, and there is a risk because in my age group, I think the mortality rate was 4%, which doesn't sound very much. But if you think, would you get on a plane if you knew that uh, one in 25 of them were going to crash? You probably wouldn't. So I think it doesn't feel dangerous, but you have to try and remember all the time to maintain the social distancing and wipe surfaces down and wash your hands and do all the, the normal sort of hygiene things that you should be doing. A lot of people are avoiding coming to hospital right now and I'll be honest I did think long and hard whether there was something I could do where I would be a feel safe and be could fit in given that currently I'm also homeschooling my two children and the fact the wellbeing centre is open 24 hours a day 
and I can give some of my time in the evening works well um, for me and, and hopefully it's really making a difference for the staff here as well.